Hello everyone, another Java tutorial. This time we are going to deal with operators and precedence. So we will be having an example. First, we are going to create a project and at the same time we are going to create a class. So I'm just going to name this one as basic operators and precedence. Click finish. So I already created the class. So we're just going to insert our codes over here. Now we have a problem here, so let me show it to you guys. So it's this one. So write a Java program that calculates and prints monthly pay for an employee. The net pay is calculated after taking the following deductions. So these deductions are only applicable on in the Philippines. So this should be the output right here. So there's the employee name. The name is Jesse Diaz. Then we have gross pay, net pay, and a couple of variables. So as you have noticed, there are a couple of decimal places. Therefore, we are going to deal with double and string. So first, we are going to initialize our variables. So I'm going to create a variable name, amp name, as string. Then up next is double then I'm going to change the names to something like an easier one. So GP for gross pay, then WHT for withholding tax. Whatever you like, you can do it. So Medicare and Pagibig for Pagibig contribution. So I still have NP in here for net pay. And lastly, oh, I think that's it. So next is, this is where we are going to initialize and provide values to our variables. So first, the amp name, of course, I'm going to change this one to my name. End it with a semicolon. Up next is for the GP. Make sure that you already you, you you are going to provide values for all your variables. So since this is a double, so I need to provide a decimal point. For WHT, since this is a withholding tax, as you have noticed, uh, it has a value of three seven five zero, which means. Um, Whatever is in here, it's 15%, so you're going to convert that one to decimal. So that will be 0.15. And multiply it by the value of the gross pay, which is 25,000, and you will get the output of 3,750. Same thing with the SSS contribution. Convert that one, the 3.63%, convert that one to decimal. So that will be 0 0.0363. So multiply it again by the gross pay. Do the same thing for the Medicare. 1.25% is 0 0.0125. Multiply it again by gross pay and you will get the exact amount. Again, these are the formulas. We are still on the initialization phase. For the pag-ibig, all we need to do is just to put the value. NP or the net pay should be uh, the gross pay minus the sum of all these deductions. So we have the withholding tax, we have the SSS, we have the Medicare and the Pagibig. Now as you have noticed, I am using a parenthesis for this one. It's because I am dealing with two different operators. This time, this is where we are going to implement our output. First, I'm going to write a, uh, a line of string here. So, of course, you need to enclose it with a semicolon. And then plus will serve as a concatenation or like you are trying to join two different values or variables here. So, I've created a semicolon with a couple of space bars so it's like I am providing some sort of space 
as you have noticed on the output, there is some sort of a huge gap. For backs backslash n will serve as a new line. Okay, so what I'm doing here is like I'm trying to do the next set of codes on the next line. It's because uh, it would be easier for me to read if there are problems of or if there are errors on my code. So let's continue with everything else. Now for this part guys, it's like it's a matter of how you're going to estimate the positioning of each of these variables here. Let's test this one later on. So for this one, I need to provide two different backslash n. It's because it's like there are two line spacing for the next line. So let's try to clean build this one. Build success. So far, there are no errors on our codes. So we are going to run it. So far, so good. But the thing is, there's a problem with the spacing. So this is where you are going to tweak it or provide additional spaces so that this will line up properly. So upon running, everything seems fine. So let's make this one fast. Same thing as what we did on the previous one. So we're just going to do the same process. I'm trying to draw a line here using a couple of underscores. Now we are in the last part already, it's like the net pay. So of course all we need to do is just to display it since we already have provided it with formulas so we will not be having any problems. Just click run. Well so far so good. It's working fine however I see some sort of problems here with regards to spacing. So I need to adjust it from here. Backspace run it again there you go so that is how you're going to use basic operators and precedence in java